an orchid care collab today for the Grammatophyllum. Boy, is this going to be a challenge. Stay tuned at the Orchid Hut. Thanks so much for taking some of your time today to watch this Care Collab video for the Grammatophyllum orchid. Now, before we get into the specifics of my example today, I want to share with you the two other orchid channels that are participating in this Care Collab. These two gentlemen are across the pond, as you might say, and the purpose behind Care Collab videos is for growers to be able to share their plants and how they care for them in different growing environments, successes and failures, blooms, hopefully in some cases. But you know, if my particular growing environment does not fit with your particular Grammatophyllum orchid, be sure to check out their channels because they are probably growing this orchid in certainly a different place, but maybe even in a different way. All right, so let's get started with my example today. This is Grammatophyllum broga tiger, and it is a massive plant. And I'll see if I can get the camera to focus on the name tag there, and if not, I will um, insert it in the video when I'm editing. But this particular Grammatophyllum is a cross between a primary hybrid as well as a species Grammatophyllum. And the root system is so tight in this pot that it's almost impossible to get the tag back in right at the moment. Uh, and I'll put the cross information up on the screen and I will also insert a picture of the bloom. Now, this plant has been in my care for about a year and a half. So I purchased it, not this particular summer, but the summer of 2022, and it was in a very, very small black plastic pot. And I believe when I purchased it, it only had the three small back bulbs, this one, and possibly one other bulb and it was all crammed into that very, very small black pot. And I let it adjust to my environment last summer. I had it more in the shade than in any kind of dappled sun situation because I wasn't sure what it could tolerate. And then when fall came, I brought it indoors for the winter along with all of the rest of my outdoor orchids and it overwintered under um, grow lights for me and I believe it may have started this growth um, towards the latter part of the winter at the beginning of spring. Now when spring came around and I was able to move orchids back outside I did put this one in slightly brighter light and it immediately uh, showed a little bit of sunburn on the leaves which I have since cut away uh, but I think it does take it a little bit of time to reacclimate from going from indoors back to outdoors. So I would increase the light um, more gradually for this particular orchid. And so it was there in the spring and it desperately needed a repot because the root system on this one is uh, quite robust along with the top of the plant which you can see is uh, rather large. So uh, in the spring I repotted it. I will put a link in the upper right hand corner of the screen. I did uh, make a video on that repot. And then um, after it had been outside for a bit I moved it to a location where there was more dappled sun shade combo and it did perfectly fine. Now, my growing environment is along the Gulf Coast of Texas. It's a subtropical climate. The summers can be brutal as far as humidity and heat, 
but then we can also have numerous days in the winter that are below freezing. So we, we have, you know, two extremes of weather where I live, but it did just fine. Uh, we had feels like temperatures of 115 degrees Fahrenheit for week after week after week this summer. And this orchid in a little bit of protected sunshade, you know, it did just fine. Now, it did need water every single day. The pot was drying out. And so during the height of the growing season, um, I did um, water it every single day. Now, I'm gonna take a short little break here and I'm going to get this extremely large plant uh, out of the decorative pot here and uh, we'll talk a little bit more about it. Okay, be right back. Okay, so now you're able to tell how root bound this particular orchid became in the matter of one growing season. Um, it has the characteristic root tips in just a few places which like to grow above the potting media. That's a, a characteristic of Gramatophyllums. But you can tell inside the pot that the root system just exploded, you know, over the course of one growing season, even sending some root tips out the slits of the pot here. Um, and so, you know, it sort of um, is another indication about how thirsty this particular orchid was. Now, for feeding purposes, I have not really done anything different for this orchid than what I do for all of my others. So it was getting fertilizer maybe about once a week um, and probably having the pot flushed maybe twice per month. And I happen to use a CalMag fertilizer along with just a drop of Super Thrive, which is a vitamin kelp um, supplement, I guess you could say. And, you know, I'm very, very pleased with the growth. I'm not certain if this particular plant is mature enough yet to bloom. After finishing this growth at the beginning part of the growing season, it is now sending up another new growth late in the growing season. And this one will probably continue to mature over the winter and uh, maybe this is the growth that will give me a bloom next spring, summer. Okay, so let's talk just a little bit about what I would do differently, you know, if I had this to do all over again. Um, you know, I think I definitely would be careful when putting it back outside that the leaves don't get sunburned. I do think it takes a little extra time to acclimate back to the outdoors. And I think um, knowing now how this one grows over one growing season, I would have just repotted it in a much, much larger pot from the get-go. Because what you can tell now is that next year, you know, there's no more room here. And so probably next spring, especially if I see that this isn't going to bloom right away, I'm probably going to be faced with having to repot it again because it has filled up this container and uh, you know won't have any more room to grow in the in the coming year so I think I would have chosen a much larger pot and I went from about a four inch pot to this size and it still was not quite enough and you know the leaves do have a little bit of leaf minor damage and you know um, maybe just a little bit of blackening on the tips of the leaves but it's not anything too severe. And I think when you grow your orchids outdoors, some of that is just to be expected. It's probably not going to have pristine leaves because this one does, you know, stay out in the rain and the wind um, and all of that kind of thing that mother nature brings. All right, so I thank you all for watching today, uh, this care collab on the Gramatophyllum. If you like this video or learn something new, please give it a thumbs up. The subscribe button is coming in the bottom right-hand corner of the screen, and don't forget the notifications bell. 
And also, please check out the other orchid growers who are participating in this care collab. Thank you all so much for watching and talk to you next time.